Hey guys, Comp Tricks here. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a background for your YouTube channel in MS Paint. Sorry about that. So, let's get started. Open MS Paint. Um, okay. Uh, this is what it looks like. I'll show you guys how I got that and the gradient over there. So, uh, let's open up, open up a new paint. And make the size the same thing as what this is. Okay, one, three, four, eight, and one, seven, seven, two apparently okay oh. okay resize uncheck this go to pixels one three four eight one seven one seven seven two okay now zoom out to about twenty five percent and time to add the gradient overlay. So go to the paint bucket tool, make it whatever color you want. I'm gonna go with this color blue. Get the line tool. Um, you should refer to my newest video, MS, how to make a gradient overlay in MS Paint. So do that. Um, resize to one pixel just keep resizing it it'll pay off and then once you get it bigger than the normal canvas I'll tell you what to do So now obviously it's bigger than what we want it to be. So we're going to resize, uncheck this, go to pixels, and make it what it was before. One, three, four, eight. Click OK. Now we have a YouTube background size that is a gradient overlay, which is really awesome. By the way, um, at the beginning I didn't show how to get this. Please refer to um, how to make a YouTube background, a uh, perfect YouTube background in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, it'll show you in the very beginning. So that also just hit a thousand views. So thank you very much. In two months, awesome. Thank you. Okay, now go back to here. Okay, now time to open up our spare our uh, our spare paint window where we're gonna make the um, the black and white gradient for the middle part okay so go to here resize it to the same pixels as the YouTube background one four one three four eight one seven seven two okay once again zoom out to twenty five percent and make a gradient overlay again whatever color you want Okay, we're starting to get some progress. <laughs> Almost there. 
I believe this is the best tutorial out there to make a YouTube background in MS Paint. Okay, now once again, resize the pixels down to 1348 or whatever yours was. Okay, now I'm gonna make this bit smaller and we're gonna click uh, control. Actually, no, I can make it a tad bit smaller this way too. Actually, oh, dang it, okay. So, um, actually, make it less. By the way, control Z is how I'm undoing what I did. Okay, now we're going to click control A on our keyboards, and that will select it all. Now hit control C, or right click and click copy. Now go to this layer, the one with your previous gradient, and we're going to click paste. And look at this. Well, oh, bam. Use the arrow keys to adjust it perfectly in the middle. And make this a bit smaller. Oh, that's too small, so I'm going to undo that. Oops. Okay, paste. Make that a bit smaller. Bit smaller. And since this is the good size of, since the background layer is the size of my back, as my actual YouTube channel, I know automatically how big I want this part to be, because you want it just so the words can fit pretty well in there. Okay, now that's pretty centered. Uh, I got a squeaky chair. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay, now we got this. Um, now we're gonna make the text. Go back to your scrap, which is this. I'm gonna cut that. I can make this a bit bigger. Both ways. Um, now for the text. So, like I would do is, what I did was, oops, yeah, I did it in that text. I made it black. What I did was made in MS Paint, and then you, uh, made in, is that what I did? Oh yeah, I did background made in MS Paint. I thought it seemed smaller. Background made in MS Paint, click away, and then the selection tool. Select that and uh, rotate right. Okay, now copy. Oh yeah, do transparent section, then copy. And then on this one, make sure it is a transparent section is checked. Now let's paste this. And we can drag this down to this side. And you can have it kind of overlapping that if you want. It looks kind of cool. Okay, now go back to your scrap page. Make a new text. And you probably want this to be like your name or something. Comp tricks. Um, I had it in a different font, but whatever. I don't really like that font anyways, all the time. Make this a little bit bigger. Make it like 72, or I actually had it, well, yeah, about maybe 72 is good. Okay, click away, selection tool, uh, rotate, left, oops, and if it does that, just click Control Z on your keyboard and select it and move it more in the middle. Click away and make it even bigger selection. Then rotate left. Okay, then it should be good. Copy. Oh, oops. Ah, oh, dang it made a mistake. Okay, copy. 
all this copy and pasting. Okay. And bam. That is it. Oops. And then make sure there's no white showing. Bam. And there you go. Um, nice background made in MS Paint. Quick save as. I'm actually going to save this as my MS Paint background because I like it better. And now let's see what it looks like. Did it from. We did this completely from scratch. That is amazing. Where is it? Okay. Come on. Bam. Okay, I could have had that. Whoa, okay. Could have had this background up a little bit more. Oh, well, though. Made in MS Paint. That's pretty impressive. And, yep, that's how you do it. So, enjoy your backgrounds. Make some for your friends. Make your own. Be creative. Maybe cut off these uh, edges. Be creative with the pixels. That's all I'm saying, man. Have fun, guys. Hope this really helped you. Sorry it was so long. <laughs> okay, bye.